All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to put in your elastic um, button loop. So what you need to do is cut a small piece of elastic, but a little bit longer than you actually need for the button. So I'm leaving a little bit of extra room. And then I went ahead of myself and had you sew this edge up all the way for your keyhole back, but you actually need to just seam rip out like five eighths inch of one of the sides. So I just open this up and on the right side, you're going to open that fabric that you rolled up outward as far as you can. And you're gonna place the button loop five eighths inch down along that raw edge. So we want it to be even with the edge that you seam ripped and just a little bit of the ways down. And then, this is the tricky part, it says to sew it um, with that raw edge even. And I've kind of got my elastic pieces together and it's just really hard to pin. So you kind of just gotta hold it still and you're gonna sew back and forth until it's secure, like so. And then you're going to go ahead and fold that edge back how you had had it before and just stitch it one more time like this so that your button loop is kind of hidden and tucked inside like this. So for the spaghetti strap shirt, the button loop is the same. You're going to cut a small piece of elastic, make sure it um, has extra room to be sewn down. On the outside of your shirt, um, again, I seam ripped just a little bit. I let this top out. 5 8 inch down, your button loop should be facing this way. You kind of have to hold them together so they stay still. And you want the edges of the elastic even with the edge of the fabric. So it's a little tricky to get in position, but the sewing machine can actually help because the presser foot will hold it still. So I'm not even gonna place it until I get it kind of set up down here. I'm going to get it in position, make sure your um, edge is, the edge of the elastic is even with the edge of the fabric. And then that, like I said, that presser foot kind of helps. So you go forward and backwards to secure the button loop, just like that. And now we're going to apply the facing.